The technical definition of an indifference curve, or level curve as mathematicians would call it, is the curve that represents all the alternative combinations of X and Y for which an individual is equally well off. But this may not be the best way of teaching it to someone for the first time. I've developed a functionalist explanation of indifference curves. Put simply, a functionalist explanation is a method of teaching an idea that begins with a practical question. Why did they invent the stuff? We saw that utility functions in intermediate courses are of the form u equals f of x1 and x2. But a challenge that immediately arises is the three-dimensional nature of such a function. And depicting any three-dimensional graph on two-dimensional pages of a book is a problem. To overcome this obstacle, economists and mathematicians use the concept of indifference curves. An indifference curve is all the points on a utility function that give a consumer the same level of utility. Imagine the utility function u equals x1, x2. All the points that have utility equal to 100 are on the same indifference curve. One unit of x1 and 100 units of x2 raise this consumer's utility to 100. So do 2 units of x1 and 50 units of x2. Or 4x1 and 25x2. Or 8x1 and 12.5x2. All these consumption bundles lie on the same indifference curve. Geometrically, these points are the intersection of the surface u equals x1, x2 and the plane u equals 100. All the points that raise the consumer's utility to, say, 200 form another indifference curve. 300, another. 400, another. An indifference curves graph is a two-dimensional image that shows multiple indifference curves of a utility function.